guys, what's happening? MC Procrastinator here, hope you guys are all doing well. This is another two minute video. If you haven't um, got a kind of concept of what two minute video is, go and see the link below because I'll take you to the last one. This two minute video is about the new Honda 2017 CBR1000RR and the problems. Okay, so I've been sort of having communications with um, a guy, but my Prilly was asking me, hey, for some I, what's what uh, good points versus bad points is having a bike and I kind of wrote an essay on it for him uh, that's the incredible sock I'll put the link in there and it got me thinking do you know what I have I actually have a reasonable amount of experience with Honda and I have a little bit of experience with Aprilia what are my bikes I've had three bikes I've had uh, an Aprilia RSVR Mili PlayStation Colors back in like I know 2005 or so and I had that for about seven eight months and then I had a 2005 Toronto uh, just back a couple of years ago and then of course I've got this Aprilia which I only had for like two and a half months so then I had a Honda let's go to Honda I had a Honda CBR 125 I've had a Honda CBR 600 I've had a Honda um, CBR 1000 RR5 blade Repsol and I've had a Honda Honda CBR 2015 model um, CBR Black which I just sold recently for this guy so my problems new Honda CBR 2017 model is Whilst I have not ridden this bike, I don't really love the look of it. I think, like Honda, they do everything pretty bland. I just don't think it's aggressive enough. I don't think it's stylish enough. I don't think they have a, enough um, paint scheme options on it. That's that. Then you look at the TT problem. John McGuinness and Guy Martin uh, were the Honda representatives for the TT 2017. Both of them crashed out. John McGuinness was first. Uh, the throttle stayed on, he couldn't switch it off, and he crashed. Reasonably serious crash, and it took him out the TT, and more importantly, it took him a couple of years to recover, number one. Guy Martin, a couple of weeks later, he was on qualifying run for the TT, and he crashed out. The bike got stuck into neutral. You can hear him clicking at it, tap, 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 trying to get out. He's going into a corner, obviously lost the engine brake head. Um, I'll put the YouTube video link in here. And ultimately, he, he just came off. He, he just, he pretty much just bounced off the bike. It was like, holy shit, what can I do? Then there's my experience. The 2015 model Honda I had, fantastic. Couldn't fault it, no ABS, completely standard bike. Blah, 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 blah. Can't fault it. Honestly, I would definitely recommend that model. So, 2015 up to the current model, I would definitely recommend it. The 2017 model, I would avoid like the plague until something comes out that you know that all these problems have been fixed. To be fair, one guy commented on the TP, you know, like when you see all the comments and stuff, said, yeah, well, you know, these guys, they're in uh, MotoGP, they don't report any problems. Of course they don't report any problems, because they're not going to make that available for everybody to understand or see or hear about, right? Because it's going to damage the Honda brand. Case in point. So, everybody might be going, well, wait a minute, you had a 2011 Honda CBR, you changed it for a 2015. I'm not going to go into the details. I can tell you now, there was a fault with the bike. It was a known fault. Uh, Honda kept a deal of secrecy over it. I can't say that Honda were unhelpful about fixing the problem, but it took a lot of people involved to kind of get there, right? So if that can happen with me, and I know it's happened with other people on the bikes, you know, it raises questions about Honda now in today's age of electronics. Do we have the same capabilities you know, as other manufacturers? Or importantly, are all the other problems with manufacturers underreported? That's a good question. Um, one thing that I can say is, when, when it comes to cars, cars are always in recalls. They're always going out. Or I don't think that same kind of priority comes from motorcycle manufacturers. And I think a lot of that's just to do with uh, the amount of generated by the, you know, the car market. So that's pretty much my two minute topic. Um, good to hear your feedback and comments. Let me know what you think. What's your experience? MC Procrastinator out.